That frightening sensation that lingers onto the electrical wirings of our brains after watching a horror film is oddly satisfying. Often this sort of narrative can be another way of departing from reality to explore a world that remains unreal of which we can only live through within a 90 minute time frame. In the cinematic world of film director Robert Vine, we travel back in time to visit dark fantasies of a distorted world synonymous with the human psychological depth. This is German Expressionism from Robert Vine's perspective. The aftermath of Germany's isolation during the First World War was of a significant transitional phase that allowed filmmakers like Robert Wein to intellectually conceive an alternate film narrative. Concepts of dark, emotional fantasy and insanity that reflected the German mindset of horrors and trauma from the war was mostly apparent throughout his work as well as many other expressionist films. In the physical reality, Emotions are felt as specific pattern of senses inside the human body displayed through facial expressions and body language. Wine translated these emotions of fear and apprehension by incorporating expressionism that takes subjectivity to the extreme, an art form that aims to highlight psychological state rather than the physical reality which is reflected through creative forms of distortions. Distortions as a film style and theme are synonymous to Robert Wine's filmography. As a film reel rolls, the apparent distorted space within the film environment takes us, the audience, into a strange world. Elongated doors, unparalleled window frames, sharp edges, oblique lines, overly sized sets that are often visually confining. An environment of limits impossible to escape that would seem to have doors leading back to the same dimension. The constructed sets were made not as a means of distraction, but as a representation for the audience to see what the film characters see. Vine wanted his audience to experience what his characters go through as the narrative progresses so that the pits of unstable human emotions are lived through like it actually existed, well at least in cinema therefore making us understand the character's world the way they perceived it, reflecting their inner psychology. To further understand the alternate dimension of psychological insanity, actors within the film environment move with oddness that assisted in expressing the narrative. To be an actor in any of Vine's films is to be a character of emotional deformity. Theatrical acting with a touch of exaggeration is a key ingredient that defines a strange dimension in his films. The characters are often eccentric when interacting within their social circumstances. Most of the performances are done with authenticity through movements of twitching, overemphasized hand gestures, and often weird pace actions that are rarely portrayed in reality. The actor's overall physical appearance in his films are intentionally done as well, facilitating over-the-top emotions of fear, anxiety, and apprehension so that it is translated well on screen, a visual mark that the film characters are tormented by the horrors of emotional instability. Within any of Vine's storyline, manipulation and mind control are apparent that agonizes the character's morals further subjected to a state of emotional abuse that leads to horrific decision-making of false accusations, hate, and murder. His 1920 film, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, highly sets in an example that marked the tone of modern-day horror films. Watching a Vine film is like going through an emotional maze of elicited horror with no further way out. We discover the pits of their struggles. A stimulated human psyche that can be lived through during showreels and at least end as the film credit rolls. It is extraordinary to experience a world where fears and apprehensions are not only felt, that such artistic deformity can actually represent a person's psychological struggles. Thanks to Robert Vine's madness of bringing unstable emotions into a form of visual distortion.